Okay, so what we're looking at here is, this is an analytic system. I've logged in. I'm seeing a, a, a summary of some dashboard information from my MS team pool. Uh, you do have kind of a menu here on the left side. You can look at multiple applications within the analytic system itself. But we're going to just touch some of the dashboard information and look at even some CDR search capability here based upon our, our time requirements we have for the system, uh, this webinar. So what we're looking at here is this is purely MS Teams data coming in. What we've seen here in this dashboard, as you can see based upon the system, a collection of the number of sessions. And we do break this out to the actual modality of the calls where I can see that in our system, obviously everyone makes audio sessions pretty much with the Teams. But what you can see here is you do see with the audio sessions that a large chunk of those are using screen sharing capability, just as we are doing now with this webinar. And you see that a very small chunk do use video sessions down here. So in this corporation corporation view that we're kind of looking at, um, you can see that model here that there is a pretty fair view that most calls use screen sessions. You can see it kind of tracks fairly exact in that and that very few sessions are using video. So again, this is a very summary high level view of that. We can look at other level of information here. So how many of the calls and the traffic going on are group calls or peer to peer calls? So you see here about 74% of the calls in the time frame were peer to peer calls. So individuals calling other individuals, two people on a call. Um, there were I mean, there's a large amount, 25% of the activity in this system is based upon group calling, whether those are scheduled meetings or someone's been added from a peer-to-peer -peer call into a group call. So there's a lot of collaboration going on within this organization. You can then look at trending, taking the same type of details and see how the trending of call volumes based upon group call and peer-to-peer -peer call happen. So information there. And here, I know this does look like the graph we're looking at above, but what this one is doing, this is actually the total minutes where the above one was actually talking about segment and session counts. So here what you see then, again, it does kind of model it, but you now can translate this to actual minutes of usage for audio, screen sharing, and video calls versus the number of counts itself. And then here it is a similar view, but again, just tracking your overall audio sessions with your network, you can see over time on an hour by hour basis. Again, just looking at a summary of what our Microsoft Teams users are doing in the network. Jumping to other items, again, I'm trying to show a kind of a summary or a little bit of touch base on what you can actually see and get access to with some of the details coming in. So obviously an important part is quality of experience. So here you can track by caller and call ed party in the calls what the packet average packet loss was. You see multiple spikes here in the packet loss getting up to 3%, 1%. So this is a fairly clean network running through. We do have some issues there. You can also track from the packet loss scenario how many callers there are, how many unique sessions were happening, that's the blue line here, but also how many failed sessions occurred. So you do get a count of any failed session uh, activity going on. Now failed session is not necessarily the whole call or the whole team session failed. It can be a mid call where an individual user lost their connection, got dropped or pulled off of them. So then the next level investigation that you could look at then with this detail is here I can actually see a the device type that the users were using. Were they using Realtek audio, um, high definition audio, the screen sharing? Did they have USB devices? Maybe they were using uh, integrated camera here. Okay, and we also can tell from information coming back is what kind of network was that in device on? Was it a wired network plugged in? a uh, Wi-Fi network, maybe the information wasn't provided from unknown or empty, or was it actually a mobile, kind of a mobile roaming device? 
activity going on. So here in this specific chart that we're looking at is I'm actually doing a heat map, seeing where's my highest packet loss, and that was actually occurring on Wi-Fi networks using Intel smart sound technology. So people on their actual computer device having those team sessions. So that was my highest level of issues going on in the network for the actual callers coming in. And we can look at a similar part looking at the call device. Again, this kind of flips over a little bit and I see that screen sharing had the highest packet loss over Wi-Fi networks. So lots of different details allowing you to drive into that next level. Uh, a few other just miscellaneous views of information, just letting you see the power that you can do with analytics and the team's interface kind of touching in here. You can get the information, even what did people click? Uh, I don't know how uh, useful some of you people do. At the end of the calls, there's that little star thing and is it five stars, two stars, three stars? You can actually get that feedback in and you can monitor that and have flags. The system will alert you then. Do I have a bunch of bad uh, calls coming in here, right? This network had a, a bunch of excellent calls, at least rated. You see here that the called person, yeah, no one really responded to that. So maybe that's the other side. You can talk to them about talking to your user groups about, well, if you guys provide that feedback that helps us improve, right? The next level is if you want to just kind of look at topology, I was showing you the devices in there with the heat map on the packet loss, but I can just do counts. What are the se segment counts that were using these types of devices and how did that look like in my network? Here, obviously most people are doing screen sharing with Wi-Fi, but also most people are using a real tech audio device too. I do have one person on a mobile phone and I had eight sessions kind of going on on a mobile phone doing screen sharing. So you can kind of go into that next level to try to diagnose. In this world today where there's so many people being remote and everyone doing everything remotely still over Teams, it helps you drive to figure out where I might be having network issues. Okay. Again, with topology, you can do a call to caller. So where most of it's a Wi-Fi to wired network here, you see in my scenarios. Again, most of the Wi-Fi to wired scenarios happening. I do have some mobile users out there, so that might be something that we want to look at from the IT group. Also, just tracking unique calls going through the system, and we talked about the user types. Other things we can look at is showing examples is, again, bar charts of device types of caller and call ed. Here, we're looking at the number of group calls versus peer-to-peer -peer calls, but how many of the callers were off Microsoft Teams? Was it a PSTN access? How many of the called were off Microsoft Teams? So you can kind of get that view of my PSTN usage and do calculations on that for projections and uh, capacity planning. So driving into a bunch of the dashboards here, the other side that we can do is if you're doing more of a uh, analysis or a troubleshooting search, you do have the ability to do CDR searches within this, pulling out various different elements. Now here, I've gotten some reports maybe that we have some network issues. So I'm actually gonna go to my find my failure search that's already been built in. Again, I'm looking for the session failure is not blank or the segment failure is not blank. I pick my time frame. Let's just do it over the last two days and run my search. So it's going to look for all the segments and sessions of Microsoft Teams calls that had failures reported within the system of Microsoft Teams itself. Here you can see most of it are mid call. There was one call setup failure happening. And here I just pulled out various information to show. Obviously you can get who called who, what was going on, even the URL that was used for setting up the call if it was a scheduled event. But here I was just pulling information. Well, what was the call? Um, where was the caller and called networks, wired Wi-Fi? And if possible, if it was Wi-Fi, was there a reported Wi-Fi signal string? Teams actually can report that. So we can go look and find other scenarios of that. Then at that point, we can go through if we wanted to pull the full CDR record, or we can actually do a report and export this data that we've searched through. Now, everything I've been 
kind of talking about and uh, providing searches and showing here is really on the Microsoft Teams. But everything we're talking about here can be done on the SBC side. So let me switch over to, again, it's analytics, but now I'm looking at SBC devices. And again, I can look at the same types of scenarios where my SBC is making calls. I've seen and calculated an ASR dip. So I've had a high number of failures occurring in my network at this point. Again, I'm now focusing on an SBC view, tidying into the Microsoft Teams. So I can kind of do a filter there if I want to walk through this, tie it off and see that that ASR event was actually occurring primarily as a split between my SBC one and two. I can see the engineering and the SVT trunk groups related for ingress and egress events, and I can actually get to my CDR records. At this point, I can go through and drive and find out even ladder diagram scenarios for these calls that were having these problems within the network. Again, this is all part of a single view kind of screen pulling multiple device and network applications together, allowing you to have a more cohesive troubleshooting and just network management experience.